Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to my unboxing for two, two brand new Wii U games that came out on the same day last week. It's kind of late unboxing, but um, these two games, of course, are Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and Lego City Undercover, two games I am really looking forward to playing and, I don't know, reviewing, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Monster Hunter 3, I don't know about, but this most likely review look out for it. But um, I am really excited to play these games, so let's get straight into it and unbox them. First, let's unbox LEGO City Undercover. Here's the front. You got some nice art there. I'm not a big fan of LEGO games, but this one did look really good. It's been getting good reviews, just like most <laughs> LEGO games, and I heard it's extremely funny. So I'm looking forward to playing this, even though I heard there's a lot of loading problems with this game, but I'm looking forward to it. Here's the front. Here's the back. What does it say? Lego City comes to life. Oh, that's a great tagline. Um, <laughs> and here's the side. All right, let's unbox it. Which I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be maybe a, a thing that says, "Here's your power card points things for your Nintendo Club thingy." That's probably the only thing that's gonna be in there because this is published by Nintendo. All right. Get this shit off. All right. Yep, ooh I'm, uh, ooh, I'm surprised. Look, I ain't gonna show you the code. There you go, there's the Nintendo Club thing. And of course, the other thing that usually comes with, hey, if you like this game, why don't you buy everything else that we make? <laughs> there you go. And here's the manual. It's an eco case, and there's the disc. Pretty good disc art, for the most part, I guess. Uh, and the manual itself is in color. Well, it's actually nice and expansive, too. And let me show you some more color. Yeah, look at my color. Look at all that color. There you go. Nice manual. And there you go. There's Lego City on the cover. Looking forward to playing it. Like I keep saying. Now, let's unbox Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Ultimate. Doesn't get better than this until Monster Hunter 4. Um, let's unbox this. Now, Monster Hunter, I actually had on PS2, the first one, and I never got into it, mostly because I was like 15 when it came out, and uh, actually, I was like 13 when it came out, I think. And when I played it, I was like 15, 16, and I was like, uh, I'm just gonna play Halo 2. Because, you know, I had small attention span, but uh, this was a really, you know, Pretty good franchise, even though I wasn't into it. So there you go. Here's the front. Some nice art there. You got that big dude. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to kill that dragon behind me. I know it's there. I don't care. He can go and, like, pretend that he's cool. But I'm cooler. That's what he's thinking. Um, Discover the epic world of Monster Hunter. Again, <laughs> freaking lame-ass taglines. This one's Lego City comes to life. Uh, epic world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and there you go. That's the tagline. There's the back. Got some screenshots. Got some stuff. Talk about the game. Uh, you can play with people that also have the 3DS game, which I thought was really cool. And you can actually transfer data if you're stupid enough to buy the 3DS and the Wii U version. Um, <laughs> did they should have did what? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, rant real quick. They should have did what a uh, PS. I mean PS. Uh, Sony did with their crossplay thing, where if you bought like Sly Cooper or I don't know that Ratchet and Clank game that came out recently, then you get the PS uh, Vita version for free. They should have did that, but uh, of course, Nintendo wanted more money because Wii U's not doing very good. So there you go. Front, Burke, side. All right, and it's pretty simple. Very small manual. I'm bored already. I think I'm going to sleep. And this, this, this is making me bored. Actually, no, it's pretty good art. There you go. There's that dragon, and I think you're... No, nope, no dude. Oh, it's a little dude fishing, and he caught one of his other little friend dudes, and the fish dragon is going to eat him. That's some pretty good art. Inventive, if you can tell on the camera. And the manual is very small. It's Capcom, so I would expect that. Uh, oh, actually, no. It's actually, you know, it's small, but it has color. So, you know what? And, and they advertise the 3DS version on the back. Thanks, guys. I'm going to pick that up right now. Alright, so, anyway, if you have a Wii U, actually I should mention this, if you have a Wii U and you actually want to play Monster Hunter uh, Ultimate with me, 
Um, I, my Wii U is a uh, Gore the Movie God symbol. Um, if it's not, I'll put the I'll put it in the description what it actually is. I I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Gore the Movie God. Same as my YouTube name. And go add me and we'll play. You know, I don't have a mic sadly, so it'll be pretty boring. But you know, you can pretend what I'm saying. You know, you you can just pretend that I'm there with you. You know, you could say dumb stuff that's not funny. That's me. You know, like. <laughs> That monster looks like a dick. Most likely I'll say that about 500 times. So you don't want to hear me talk anyway. But if you want to play this and you see me playing, just, I don't know, send me an invite. I don't know how Wii U works, to be honest. I haven't played many online games on Wii U. But, uh, yeah, we'll play. Uh, is there any multiplayer in this? Nope. We won't be playing this, sorry. But we can play this if, if anybody wants to. So, and I, most likely I would like to play with people because I heard this game is kind of, eh single player but with friends it's a lot of fun so overall there you go there's my unboxings I these these games suck I'm going to turn them no, there you go there's my, rev my review my unboxings I hope you enjoyed them thank you and goodbye